Hello everyone, my name is Pedro Gonçalves Ferreira. I'm very glad and happy to be here with you today to discuss um, different and several topics uh, with a lot of colleagues uh, from our industry. Uh, today I would like to introduce um, some uh, topics about uh, Agile practices and BIM and this symbiotic relationship between these two worlds. Um, but first of all, I would like to introduce uh, myself. I am an architect and Agile project manager. I have around eight years of experience in the AC sector, both in Portugal and in Germany. Um, since my uh, the start of uh, since I started my career, I had the opportunity to work in uh, different kind of projects with different scopes, with different sizes and budget. And I have been involved in commercial um, uh, housing and uh, most recently in healthcare and life science projects. Um, I hold a master degree from, in architecture from Porto University um, in Portugal, my hometown. And during my career, I decided to uh, research and to study uh, some topics about project management and its implementation on the architecture field and AC sector uh, in particular. Uh, so I decided to engage in a postgraduate program at Porto Business School, also in Porto, Portugal. And uh, I also hold in this topic or in this field, I also hold uh, two um, certifications one is the project management professional and the other one PMI, Agile Certified Practitioner from uh, the Project Management Institute in the US. So today I would like to talk, and as I said, about Agile practices and its applications on, um, on the AEC sector. Um, and the first part of this presentation, I would like to navigate with you around the shift that we have been facing from the VUCA to the BANI world. Uh, I would like then to, to, to go deeper in the Agile uh, topic and talk about the Agile values, principles and frameworks and then introduce a little bit about how can we implement Agile in the AC, what are the pillars that, uh, and, and the drivers to, that we should pay attention uh, in order to introduce these topics in our industry. And I would also like to close this presentation talking about the alignment between Agile and BIM and how there is a symbiotic relationship between these two worlds. First of all, I would like to recall a little bit about uh, the world we have today. Um, since the Cold War or in the Cold War, um, there was a, a world of complexity and ambiguity that emerged. And in the 80s, um, there was a term that was an, an acronym that was created to describe this complexity that uh, those years um, had produced. Um, in the first, so this word is VUCA, and that means volatile uncertain, complex and ambiguous world. And this is related to the way uh, at that time there was unpredictable changes and uh, very fast, the, the, the way there was a lack of pre predictab uh, predictability and clear outcomes and uh, the very complex and intricate relationships in, 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 uh, between various factors. But since, uh, I would say, the last decade or in the last few years, we have been experienced uh, even quicker change in the, in the world. And I think we all suffer from this, uh, I would say, problem or challenge, if you want. And nowadays, we have been facing um, a world uh, with uh, huge uh, changes um, that are basically shaped by climate and global systemic change. And to describe this world, we, there is this term, bunny, that means basically 
brittle, anxious, nonlinear, and incomprehensible world. Um, to describe all the disruptions we have nowadays and the way we should, we, we, we need always to be adapted to new circumstances and to be able to, to respond to all the challenges that we face basically every day. And I think our industry, AC industry, um, despite their own conditions and their own characteristics, is completely um, involved in this in this world, which means it's completely affected by um, the, the the challenges that other fact other industries are uh, also have, and so that's why I think we need some strategies to face uh, these uh, challenges, and I would like to present uh, some strategies that are being um, defined uh, around this bunny world, and. Um, to face the, the, the challenges we have in this world, um, we might need to, to, to have resilience, mindfulness, adaption, and transparency as a, a, a response uh, to all the issues that we face and um, uh, nowadays. Uh, it is important to, to have resilience, uh, to build the ability to absorb the shocks and adapt to the, the, the changes we have uh, almost every day cultivate awareness and try to reduce the stress and basically promote the well-being and uh, try to be uh, to adapt uh, having flexibility and uh, adjust the strategies um, to, to the unpredictable and changing circumstances and um, having some transparency to foster uh, the openness clear the communication and uh, enhance the understanding um, of the complexity of uh, our days. And so I think uh, it, in this context makes sense to introduce AJA as a way um, to help us to deal when planning and when developing our projects um, to deal with all the different circumstances that we have been facing. And having a strategy uh, on how to implement project management strategies uh, or approaches uh, is very important nowadays. Um, and, and I think it's not related with the, 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 the project complexities. Uh, I, I would say that in every uh, circumstances, in every single project, we should have the proper strategy. And I think in those cases, agile uh, approaches make completely sense. Agile Manifesto was created in 2001 by a group of software developers and they decided to um, bring together some ideas to uh, uh, enhance the collaborative work um, uh, to, 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 in order to face all the challenges that I, we talked about before. And in these cases, they, um, they, they created this Agile, so-called Agile Manifesto based on four values and twelve principles. At that time, they thought that um, we should, um, uh, we should, um, basically, we should uh, promote individuals and interactions over process and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation. We should improve and enhance the customer collaboration over the contract negotiation, and we should be able to respond to change over following uh, uh, a plan that was already given up front. And this doesn't mean that they don't give any important importance to, to the, the second ones, to the, the process, to the, the, the documentation, to the contract negotiation, but they thought that it was easier and it was uh, more efficient to promote the uh, very first uh, uh, topics that I talked about. And so Based on, the, on those four values, they uh, identified four, uh, 12 core principles that I thought they, they can enhance the productivity and the way we work together in a collective, in a, in a, in a, in a collective, uh, a collaborative work. So they, they focused basically on the customer satisfaction, on the ability to accept the changes throughout the, the project lifecycle, to deliver work frequently, 
and collaborate between the different stakeholders and in, 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 in their case, uh, uh, different developers, work with and promote a motivated team, uh, uh, privilege the face-to-face -face interactions, um, try to measure the progress based uh, primarily uh, on the working product, um, sustain and uh, 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 or, or, or promote a sustainable development uh, pace, enhance the agility throughout through the, the continuous ex experience, excellence and uh, through the 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 the, 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 the project uh, the project life cycle, promote the simplicity, develop self-organizing teams, and also reflecting and adjusting regularly throughout the project life cycle. So basically, uh, what means Agile approach? Agile approach uh, brings uh, some new ideas about the way we should work together, the, sh the way we should collaborate with the different uh, stakeholders and the different parts involved in, in, in the project. And of course, uh, it is a little bit the opposite of the traditional approach we had before. The traditional approach promoted the complete solutions and the linear development process uh, was not so open to the to the change. Uh, the requires usually were, were defined almost 100% up front, and there was a low level of users involvement during the project life cycle. And the agile approach is completely the opposite, I would say. We work with functional models. We try to to to, to have our work based on short interactions where we can uh, have. Um, regular leg, regular uh, out, output uh, outcomes, and we privilege the, the experimentation and the improvement throughout the project life cycle. And usually, the requirements can be adapted throughout the process, which means that we are open to the change. And uh, there is a, 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 a high level of users' uh, involvement and clients and different stakeholders. So here we can see basically the huge difference between the traditional uh, approach in project management and the agile approaches. During the project time, uh, timeline or the project uh, uh, life cycle, uh, usually in the traditional uh, approach, we would plan and then having the, all the development of the project until the, 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 the release of the final product or the final project. On the agile, uh, we have, as we saw before, small interactions that we can promote and that we can have regular uh, ha um, regular releases uh, where we have outcomes that we can also improve in the future if you want. And this allows us to have uh, a, a, a closer relationship with the client or with other, other, other counterparts in the project and improve our work and control a lot of risks that are completely um, attached to the, the our our projects uh, nowadays. So, but the implementation of agile can be done be, uh, through different frameworks, on basically divided on a team level, uh, or in scaling to organizations or even to the sector. Um, in terms of team level frameworks, we can have Scrum, Kanban, Scrum, XP, probably already uh, heard about it. Uh, bottom, and on the scaling framework, we have safe Scrum of Scrums, less discipline, agile, and a few more. Uh, I would say that I don't have enough time to to go one uh, to each of them, but I would be very glad to to talk about them later, or if you want, uh, we can also discuss it uh, in 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 other opportunities. Um, but basically, agile promotes and needs or requires. Uh, an organizational change. It's not possible to introduce agile approaches if we don't change our mindset or if we don't change the way we organize ourselves in a, in a, in a project team or in our organization. And basically, we have several differences that are important to take care of. And if we cannot introduce these differences and these changes, I would say that is very complicated or even impossible to introduce agile in our project teams. I'm talking about the general approach that can, should be should promote this rapid interaction in agile instead of having a linear uh, approach uh, as we saw before 
the focus should be on the people, not on the processes. Uh, the management style, or if you want the leadership style, should be completely different. So that we mean we, we need uh, more people with different skills in the project management side. Um, and then the relation, relationship and the, in, in the involvement and the engagement of the customer and the end users should be high or very high. Uh, and of course, this ability to change should be uncomplicated and most of all appreciated by the project teams. And of course, this reduces a lot the project schedule re re risk once we work in the small interactions instead of having a plan completely upfront. Um, Agile, I would say that there are three important pillars and drivers for change when we want to implement Agile. And I think we should also have them in the AC industry. And not, right now, I think we are suffering uh, a lot with the lack of knowledge and the lack of um, uh, intersection between these three pillars. Uh, I, I mentioned here people, processes and technology, and I think we should uh, invest in this three topics in order to, 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 to be able to, to face the future. Uh, in terms of, of people, uh, we should embrace a cultural shift. We, we should have new roles and responsibilities, promote a, promote a collaborative environment, and of course, uh, having invest in career development plans uh, throughout the, our organizations and, and the team, team meeting, having regular uh, feedbacks and, and and, and evaluations, if you want, in in our in our teams or in our organization. This is this is very very important. In terms of process, we should promote the flexibility and adaptability. We should align international project management standards and best practices. And basically, or uh, uh, lastly, we should take a look on the technology and use the proper or align the, te the technology we need, the softwares and, uh, and project management and BIM, etc., with the, the overall strategy of the organization and with the agile principles, of course. And we should also, nowadays, we are facing a lot of uh, uh, important um, transitions uh, concerning AI and automation. We should also be able to introduce this in our strategy to implement agile practices in our organizations or in our sector. Um, and I would like to, 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 to conclude a little bit this small presentation about agile, um, talking about what I think it is a clear relationship, a symbiotic relationship, as I call it, um, between agile and building information modeling. I think we are always, sometimes I uh, people come to me or somehow we are discussing these topics and people tell, tell me that maybe BIM and Agile are not aligned or maybe uh, they, 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 they cannot um, uh, work together. And I really uh, don't understand that point of view because yes, Agile and BIM can work together and uh, Agile can be also uh, uh, a support in our industry to develop our projects properly uh, facing the huge challenges that we have nowadays. And so I think there is really symb a symbiotic relationship between both of them. Uh, and in this small uh, table here, I have exactly the, the, the things that I think are very uh, similar in both of the, the methodologies. The interactive process from the age of it has also an interactive collaboration in BIM. In Agile, we promote cross-functional teams, and in BIM, we promote also the multidisciplinary collaboration. We, we, we have adaptability in Agile. BIM promotes adaptive modeling. Uh, we enhance the communication and the collaboration both in Agile and BIM. We, have, uh, we take a look and we prepare and we, we, are, we pay ver uh, uh, huge attention to the, the efficiency in both of them too. There is a, a, a commitment to continuous improvement and, and to customer satisfaction and involvement and the, 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 this collaborative environment between the several stakeholders we have on, the, on, the, on our project teams or in our projects. So basically, um, I, I would like to thank you for this uh, small presentation for your attention and consideration and of course i'm glad to discuss with other colleagues uh, this uh, some perspectives about these topics and other topics and i'm glad to 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 and happy to connect if you want and uh, if you want just reach out to me in via, via linkedin or uh, any other platforms i will be very glad 
to hear also your thoughts and your ideas about this and other topics involving our industry. Thank you very much.